Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to python.org forward slash get it. And I'm going to include this link in the description of this video. Once you see this page here, very simply, you're just going to download Python and you'll see the latest version right here. Also keep in mind that if you're working on Linux or Mac OS or other, then you'll simply select these down here. So we're going to click download and over here, you're simply going to select where you would like for it to be download for me in the download folder right here is just fine. So I will click save. And then if you're using the latest version of Chrome, you're going to hit this download icon here and you're simply going to select Python over here or you can find it in your downloads folder. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to click it and here you'll see a Python for Windows setup. So here you're going to select use admin privileges when installing pi.exe and also you're going to want to add python.exe to path. You're going to select custom install and you're going to make sure that all of these are checked off. You're going to go to next and you're going to select install Python 3.12 for all users. You are then going to choose where you want it to be installed. So for me, this install location is perfect. So I will hit install. When they ask you if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, you're going to select yes. And now you'll see that the setup progress is occurring. So you can actually see by this progress bar how much you have left. This doesn't typically take a lot of time. This step is probably one to two minutes long. When it's finished, you're going to see this screen right here that says the setup was successful. It's also going to tell you that if you want to try their online tutorial and documentation, you can go ahead and use that. And at your terminal, you can simply type PY to launch Python or search for Python in your start menu. So let's go ahead and do that. So here I searched for Python and I could see Python 3.12 is installed. And obviously as they roll out newer versions, this number will change, but we'll go ahead and click that. And then you see your Python screen right here. So go ahead and type this in print. You're going to open parentheses in quotation marks. You're going to write subscribe to promo ambitions channel so that he can feed himself. Close quotation marks, closed parentheses, hit enter. And right here, you can see that it outputted subscribe to Pro Ambitions channel so that he can feed himself. Congratulations, you now have Python downloaded on your Windows device.